Oh, look at this. I don't know how people survive. So expensive. Okay, I am really disappointed. Good morning, everyone. Today is our second and last day in Canada. We are just going to grab a quick breakfast at the Kua Empress, which is basically the same place where we had the afternoon tea yesterday. We're back at Hugh at the Empress. This is their breakfast menu. And then I'm gonna get the smashed avocado toast. It tastes really like a latte, not vanilla latte, but yeah, it's okay. It's not very sweet, not like American lattes. And I got the basic avocado toast with pea sprouts. Okay, we just finished our breakfast. It's raining, so we're gonna go inside the Royal British Columbia Museum and check it out. Apparently their Stonehenge exhibition is the thing right now. So for two people, it was $50. So 60 Canadian dollars, but this was just the general museum admission. We didn't opt to do the IMAX movie experience. It's honestly just to get away from the rain. The Stonehenge exhibition is set to run from May 2024 to January 2025. This exhibition allows visitors to discover one of the most mysterious and unique stone monuments in the world. My favorite part of the museum, the natural history section, beautifully recreates some of BC's classic ecosystems peppered with a selection of taxidermied animals. Hey, this is the third floor of the museum. It's like a ghost town. Wait, didn't we see the Grand Hotel when we were passing by? This is the Grand Hotel and what it looks like on the inside. Oh, ooh, look at this. Wow, pretty cool. I love. So this is old Chinatown. We're thinking about heading to Chinatown after games. So this is my heritage and my culture. Wow. I sometimes, yeah, I just imagine what it's like living back in the days. I don't know how people survive. So it was raining quite a lot. So we saw that there is a little mall here called Bay Center Victoria. And we just stopped in here to rest a little bit and we get away from the rain. But we will be on track to Chinatown shortly. I'm wearing red because for Chinese people, red is a very fortunate and lucky color. We're gonna try this bubble pale lace. I mean, there's not a lot of bubble tea stores around here, but this was one of the higher rated ones. I am not optimistic. I got a black note tea. It was $7, so expensive. Obviously, you already know it won't because of the paper compostable straws. It's like the watered down lollipop. Welcome to Victoria. What do you think of the bubble place? 
Okay, I am really disappointed. You know, we live in like a little Asian community and we know what authentic boba is like. So don't go in with high expectations. So, okay, I was thinking, sure, it'll be like a lolly cup level. Just to give you some context, lolly cup is... It's like a chain. It was like a lot of people's first introduction to boba. So anyways, yeah, you walk in. I was so shocked that they were playing classic rock music. The whole decor design was so Caucasian themed. Now, you know, I was expecting more Chinese style decoration in Chinatown. Yeah, in Chinatown. What hit me the most was, you know, it's not going to be good if the worker is not Chinese, right? And yeah, there were four very diverse workers that were non-Asian. You can tell it's just the service was not really good too. Like they were slow. And then on the menu, it had like these really weird flavors. They didn't have a lot of authentic tea stuff, if you know what I mean. It's just weird. The boba was so chewy. So chewy, so hard. Towards the end, it got even harder. Harder. My jaws were hurting. How does it compare to Florida? Um, I think I like the Florida tea drink itself better. We got like a jasmine milk tea. Here we got the classic milk tea. I like the tea there better. Boba. I don't know. The boba here, it was starting to get really hard. So, you know, I think I preferred the one from Florida better. But yeah. All right. So what's the plan next? See if we can walk inside the Capitol building over there. I don't think we can, but we're just trying to waste time before we go back on the clipper. We are back from Victoria to Seattle. Wow, look at the clouds. It's so windy that it's moving so fast because the wind's pushing it. Nine twenty-one. Ten. All right, room tour time. <laughs> We've got a nice cushy couch for us. This is the bed. Shower. A robe. Wow, that's the view. So it's currently nine twenty-three p.m. So yeah, I guess tomorrow we'll try the transit. All right, we're just going to close off the Canada vlog. Yeah, so we're safely back in America. Mm -hmm. I love America. I think it's just the familiarity of it. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna be spending a week in this room right here in mm -hmm. Washington. Yeah. Washington vlogs next. Alrighty, mm -hmm. bye guys. Bye.